Within every game there are assets that simply don't make the cut. The Ace class happened to be one of them, and within the final polished build of Hogs of War it gave us three high tier classes of the Commando, the Hero and the Legend. So who exactly was the Ace class? How were they different? What was their purpose? And ultimately, why were they eventually cut from the game? So before we dive into answering these questions, let's look at what we already know. Of course, for those of you who know how to edit some code, the Ace class is actually playable on the PC version of the game. And from what we can see from that version, the Ace appears to have 150 health, along with similar weapons to the Hero and Legend, with a slight adjustment of having two extra jetpacks, an additional F-Rain Fire Strike, and the removal of the Sniper Rifle, which in many ways is much more comparable to the Legend. From the standpoint of the community, this is literally all we seem to know. Because of this, I decided to dive deeper and reach out to the developers that worked on the game. Several emails and LinkedIn requests later, I stumbled onto Twitter where I found Jacob Habgood, the lead programmer for Hogs of War who worked at Gremlins Interactive during that time. With his help, we could finally put the pieces of this class together and find out the key elements that made up what the Ace class could have been. He wrote, So looking at the design documents, things started out quite differently. There were three levels of legend, Major, Colonel and General. Interestingly, the Commando was only unique to the Heavy Weapons career path. But the final version of the design put the ace between the hero and legend, with the commando at the top of all career paths. The code reflects that design choice, with pig types being logical ranks in the game and character types being the character meshes assigned to that rank. Note that only Pig Legend 3 uses the ace model. The promotion table shows that it is not possible for a player to promote their pig beyond Legend 1. So the rank labelled hero in the game is Legend 1, and on the final level you meet some legends which are Legend 3. I suspect hero was scrapped because the legend was supposed to have a shockwave attack, which made the landscape ripple. We couldn't get that working with objects on the level, so there weren't really enough weapons to justify the extra classes. We also didn't have enough unique pig character models, we were limited by the video memory available on the PlayStation 1, however the models you see in the game on the final level that are called Legend was actually intended as the Ace, so that's what it would have looked like. So in conclusion, the Ace class sat between the Hero and the Legend, it had 10 extra health on the Hero and a Napalm Airstrike, which we now know to be called the F-Rain Airstrike. That is pretty cool, huh? Well, even so, we have to ask the further questions of would this class have been effective in Hogs of War? Would the Ace have actually been an improvement compared to other classes? Well, as Jacob stated, the software available restricted the progress of what the class might have been. Weaponry is what gives each class their own style, and the loadout shown in the design document for the early build of the game gave the Ace a substantial arsenal, with three times the amount of tranquilizer darts, gas grenades, cluster bombs, and heavy machine guns, which as we know from today's game would be considered extremely overpowered. Combine that with a super airburst and air cover capabilities, and it just simply goes too far. Meanwhile, when you compare this to the finished version of the game, these extreme qualities are reduced to a single use, along with the super airburst being altered to a simple primary airburst. From this reduction, the ace becomes much more about maneuverability than power. The addition of those two extra jetpacks puts the ace as being one of the most free moving classes in Hogs of War. With this class being so nimble, the player will be able to have free movement around the map at will without having to think too much about the time limitations. However, the glaringly obvious difference the ace has when compared to the hero is the lack of a sniper rifle. With only the single use of a heavy machine gun and tranquilizer, the key weakness of this class is revealed. Simply by lacking a primary rifle based weapon that is medium to close range, the ace must rely on its bazooka or airburst as other choices like TNT, gas grenades and the sword forces the player to fight close to the enemy and it can draw them out of a much stronger position. Of the 13 weapons or abilities the ace has, only 3 Three of them are not single use. In the end that just begs the question, what good is this class once all resources are depleted? The code mentioned earlier draws up some very interesting design choices. This entire time the character model for the legend was actually the ace, and that raises the next question of what the official legend class would have looked like. I think we can probably save that for another time, but in the meantime I think we can definitely establish who the ace class was and why they weren't used. The limitations the developers faced was ultimately this character's downfall. By not having its own unique weapons, the ace never really stood out when compared to the hero or the legend. Regardless of whether it had a little more extra health or its ammo size was increased, it would never have taken away from the fact that it was just too similar. Perhaps if they had room for different character models, the design could have been enough to make up for the close similarities. Because after all, it's the subtle differences in the appearance, speed, voice lines and weapons that give these characters some form of substance. 
So, would Hogs of War have been different with the Ace class? Not really. Visually it could have added more, but it offered little difference to what was already available to the player. I think if the game was able to stick to its original, old design of having flyable planes and other vehicles, the devs could have used this class to specialise in using or having these utilities within their arsenal. That is where the real difference could have lied between the original elite pigs of the hero, the ace and the legend. So for those of you who are interested in playing as the ace class, here is a quick fire tutorial. Obviously you'll need the PC version of the game which you can find on Steam. The links to everything by the way will be down below in the description. So before you do anything you need to download HXD which is a hex and disk editor that you'll need to alter the game's code which sounds complicated but it only takes about 2 seconds and is actually super simple. So once you have that downloaded and installed, simply load up Hogs of War and begin a new single player campaign as the team you want to play. Once you've selected that, save it and then exit your game back to the desktop. From here you need to navigate to the game's file location. A very simplified way of doing this is going to your Steam, right clicking on Hogs of War and selecting properties. Once the new window appears, navigate to the local files tab and click on browse local files. This will bring up the game's main directory and if you wish to find it manually, you simply have to navigate through program files, steam, steam apps, common and then hogs of war. From here you need to scroll down and ensure that you have a file marked save army. Depending on how many saved files that you have for whatever team you're playing as and whatever campaign you're doing, they will be marked with a number after the words save army, which is all one word. So do take note of how many save files you have and which number equals which team is saved. So once you've done that you need to open up HXD and within the editor go to file and open. From here you can then scroll down and view your saved army files which you may note there are two different file types of a file and a back file that are both labeled save army whatever number. You must select the file and not the back file as it will basically not work. So once you've opened it, it may look confusing but all you have to do is simply copy the ACE's hex value of 0F into these locations. Once done, simply save and close the editor, launch up the game and you should have a team full of ACEs. It's worth noting that the ACE is called a grenadier on the roster screen which is pretty funky huh? Anyway though guys that is going to wrap everything up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts on everything in the comments below. I'd like to give a special thanks to Jacob Habgood for lending me his brain and information on the Ace class because it's something that has been in the works for quite some time now and there will of course be plenty more Hogs of War content coming up in the future along with some podcasts and everything in between. So as I said let me know your thoughts in the comments and I will catch you guys later for the next one. Yeah. <laughs>